Hi, my name is Vadim, and today I'll be teaching you a visual appearance of a compressor and its graphical elements. For that purpose, I choose Sonitus FX Compressor. I personally like it a lot because it's pretty powerful downward and upward compressor with variable knee and hard limiting options in a simple interface. There is all we need – attack and release, threshold and ratio, knee and gain. It even has a vintage type, auto limiter for output and auto transient control parameter. But it's not a most top ended because of lack of some important features what the compressors have, like sidechain input for keying or peak RMS mode of detection. As you see, interface is really user friendly and simple. In the middle, we see input output graph with usual 45 degree line. X axis stands for representation of input signal and y-axis for output. The line is representing what compressor will do at the certain sound level. Most common curve for downward compressor is asymptotic. We can adjust ratio and knee of the line by clicking a graph and moving mouse left-right for knee and up-down for ratio. The same you do using mouse click and drag in corresponding cell. You can even enter a numerical values for six most important parameters with double click. We will talk about controls later in this video. Besides them, compressor has its meters. The first one is for stereo input level and it is used for analyzing a threshold. Remember that no matter what preset you select, threshold should be based on your sound level, so you need to adjust it manually for each case you want to use compressor with. It is especially important if your sound has a volume lower than a unity. Second meter corresponds to gain reduction, or GR. Compressor reduces a part of the sound and GR is telling us how much of dBFS were taken. If we have low signal after processing with compressor, then we need to bring it back with gain fader. The result of the processor will be shown in output stereo meter. How do you use a compressor? I cannot explain all the theory, but quick approach is point 1. Listen to your signal and determine whenever it has musical components, mix down or sax solo, or just consists of separate pieces of music, like drum or bass part. It will help you to choose between slight compressor with lower ratio and more curved knee for the first type, or quick and strong compressor for the second one. Point 2. Based on to previous listening, set ratio for suit your needs, lower setting for light and higher for heavy compression. The golden setting is 4.8 to 1. Try this one as a start point and then you decide what character you want from your compressor. If you want compressor to act as a limiter, set ratio to 30 to 1. Point 3. Select a desirable knee. For more musical approach, we should set it to soft knee, curved form, and for technical parts, we should use more squared form. Point 4. At the moment, leave attack and release as them are and try lowering threshold until you notice a compression. If no, GR meter will help you, but optimal settings is to see a peak of an input level meter and lower a slider just a little bit. Point 5. Now you can adjust a velocity of a compressor. Attack is a parameter which tells to the compressor how many of the initial transient should pass through before compressor will actually kicks in. It should be set 10 to 50 milliseconds for musical parts and 0 to 30 milliseconds for technical ones. Point 6. Release controls. How much time compressor will continue to work after signal passed below the threshold and is not triggering a processor anymore? Extreme values will cause compressor to work up to 4 seconds later the first signal cross the threshold and to eat next transients. Usually you can try a value of 10 times of the attack, but you can vary from situation to situation. And point 7. After you set main parameters and obtain compressor you want, you need to bring an overall volume up, so gain is a friend in this situation. You may need to enable or disable limiting options if you want. Adjusting threshold, gain, ratio and knee, we are dealing with changing overall volume or RMS, so it is the right moment to introduce overload peak indicator. Although we can base our measurements on the output leveling, 
you can pay attention to the odd overload for detecting clipping or limiting. They are not the same thing. Limiting is only enabled if you activate a corresponding option. In another case, signal will show clipping, which is exceeding the maximum of 0 dBFS. The correct use of compressor is to avoid clipping at all costs or use it in a musical way. So try next approach. Raise gain until you start noticing peaks and then just lower a fader a little bit. Or hit a limiter button. Short peaks will be just cut out. Until now, I didn't mention TCR and vintage compressor type parameters, as I haven't described plugins buttons. TCR is like outer release parameter, which is very common in modern compressors. It helps to control transients, but if you can adjust all settings manually, better to turn it off. Vintage compressor type changes curve to sigmoid shape instead of asymptotic to imitate old school compressors. Bypass turns down a compressor for comparison dry wet. Undo brings back only the last change. Setup A B is used for comparison between different compressor settings. Reset makes all settings to change to their original positions. Preset is a list of available configuration for processor where you can save your own preset too. And the Ask Symbol button is used to bring up a help. To sum up, I just described all features of Sanitos FX compressor. It's very simple but yet powerful processor with nice visual appearance and controls. I can advise it to you because Sanitos FX plugins, despite of their age, are still a good choice in modern studio. Thank you for your attention and have a good game. <laughs> just joking. Have a good day. Bye.